This project is sponsored by Altium Designer, which is one of the best PCB design software in the world. By using the software, you can make circuit diagrams very easily. Also, you can design your own professional PCBs. Altium is now included with Altium 365 in one license. With Altium 365, you can share your designs on the web and get feedback to your designs. Visit Octopart.com as the best electronic components site. Octopart gives you the most affordable data by specifications, data sheets, CAD models, etc. Hello, an audio spectrum analyzer is a device that visualizes the frequency content of an audio signal. It, repre it represents the distribution of frequencies in a graphical form, typically displaying amplitude of power or power on the y-axis and frequency on the x-axis. This tool is commonly used in audio engineering, music production and sound analysis for various purposes. This time I will describe how to make an audio FFT spectrum analyzer on a 256 on 50 pixel VFD display. This type of displays emit very bright light with high contrast and clear visibility from wide angles and have a wonderful retro look. The device is very simple to build and has only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, next GP1287 VFD display with resolution of 256 on 50 pixels, potentiometer, two capacitors, two resistors, and one button. Thanks to the two libraries used, UHG2 and FIX FFT, the code is very simple and can be easily modified. The audio input to the audio input to the Arduino is on A2 analog input with bias at the midpoint by 10 kilo ohm to, to ground and, and 10 kilo ohm to plus 5 volts. At the input we can put a potentiometer to control the amplitude of the input signal. First, let's look at the case when we bring a signal with a certain frequency and shape to the input. For this purpose, I will use the signal generator that is part of this oscilloscope. Uh, let's try with a rectangular signal. The spectrogram clearly shows the fundamental signal as well as its harmonics. As we change the frequency of the oscillator, so does the fundamental of, of the analyzer, analyzer display. Next, we will assign with a sinusoidal signal. Here we can see that the frequency range of this instrument uh, is from 0 Hz to 4.5 uh, kHz where most of the music signals are found. However, the purpose of this device is not to perform any precise audio analyzers, uh, analyze and measurements but primarily has a visual function. Now let's see how the device works in condition when we bring a complex audio signal to the input. Mm -hmm. 
Although the device has two modes of operation that can be changed with the push of push of button. In one mode, the bars are next to each other, and in the other, there is a certain distance between them. This is not a professional tool because it has relatively low resolution and frequency range but can serve as a great educational tool and visualizer for some audio project. Finally the device is installed in a suitable box made of a PVC board with a thickness of 5mm and covered with self-adhesive colored wallpaper. <laughs> 